Flashpoint Workshop. Workshop Preparation. Connect the power cable to the rear side of the instrument. If you connect to a vehicle battery, a 12 volt power converter is required. If you want to use a keyboard, attach it to a USB port on the rear side of the instrument. Turn on the analyzer and log in. For measuring, two cups are available. A one milliliter cup for ASTM D6450 measurements and a two milliliter cup for ASTM D7094 and all other methods. Keep samples cool before the test and make sure you fill the cup to the inner mark only. Measuring. Please select the Dodecane program from the three recently used measurement programs. Dodecane is a CRM standard used for quality control. Enter a sample ID. A virtual keyboard will pop up and allows you to enter a sample name. Program name and program details are shown below the sample ID field. Take the one milliliter sample cup and put it into the cup holder. Take the pipette, equip it with a pipette tip and fill one milliliter dodecane into the sample cup. Insert the magnetic stirrer. Open the flap and insert the cup holder. The notch at the bottom of the cup holder has to sit correctly on the lift plate. Please pay attention that the handle points outwards. Make sure not to bend the temperature probe in the measuring chamber. Close the lid again. Press the Run button to start the measurement. In automatic mode, the instrument will regulate to the initial temperature and start the test immediately. You will hear three test ignitions before the sample cup is lifted inside the instrument. Observe the temperature bars for oven and sample temperature on the top of the measurement screen. For each ignition, the flash pressure is monitored. To identify contamination in samples, you may switch between the pressure curve and the combustion analysis. When the flash point is reached, the flash pressure will be suddenly very high. When the measurement is finished, the result is displayed and the instrument cools down. Press close to get to the measuring menu again. Cleaning. After the test, use a tissue to absorb the residual sample and to clean the sample cup. Then, clean the rim of the oven with a tissue. For sticky residuals, use the brass brush. Results. The last results are shown at the bottom of the screen. To access the results list, Click on Show All Results. Scroll up and down through the results list or set a filter to select specific results. In the results screen, you can choose to print or to save results to your USB device. To check a specific result, select the result. Click on Detail to access pressure listings. You can see that the pressure increases slowly until the flash point, where it rockets above 20 kPa. Select the Analysis tab to generate combustion profiles from the data. Generating profiles may take a while. Scroll to the very end to check the profile when the flash point was reached. For a pure and clean substance, this profile must be pointy and narrow, indicating a high ignition quality. You can download the result and print the profiles from this screen. Measuring programs. To enter the program list, select More in the measuring screen. Press the Edit button on the right. The screen is divided in two parts. The lower part gives you a summary. The upper part allows you to navigate and change program settings. Please use the arrow keys to navigate between different programs and parameters. Press New to create a new program. Enter a program ID. Set the initial temperature, TI. Per standard, the start temperature must be 18 degrees Celsius below the expected flash point. Anisole flashes around 43 degrees centigrade. 
so reduce the initial temperature to 25 degrees centigrade. Set the final temperature well above the expected flash point. Select a standard method, a rapid screening method, a correlated, or a custom method. If samples are tested near ambient temperature, increase the TIT value to cool the oven below the starting temperature. Press Close to finish the program. It will be automatically stored in the program list. Create a customized program. Custom programs allow the user to change additional test parameters. Press New to create a new program. Enter a program ID. Set initial and final temperature. Select Custom Method. A custom method allows the user to define flashpoint steps, heating rate, and air introduction. Select these parameters and press Close to finish the program. Settings. Click on Menu to Create New Users to change instrument settings or to configure a network or a printer. Enter the Settings menu to change language and measuring units or to activate the barometric pressure correction. Here, you can also activate the expected flash point. If you enter an expected flash point in the measuring screen, this will automatically change the initial and the final temperature of your test program. Network Connection Administrator level users may configure a network. Use the patch cables to connect the FLP touch to the router. Click on Menu, Network. Note the IP address. The instrument should be in DHCP mode. On your PC or tablet, open your internet browser. Connect to the IP address of your instrument at port 8080. Now you can remotely control the FLP touch, start measurements, and view the results. To access the results, open the folder ResList in the browser. Results are provided in XML data format for your limbs. Printer installation. The printer menu shows all installed and available printers. The default printer is marked with a star. To install a new printer, download your printer driver on your USB device. The driver must have INF format. A selection of generic printer drivers is available from your local representative. Connect the printer to a USB port on the Mini Flash Touch. Go to Menu, Printer Management. Connect the USB device to the front USB port. Select Install Printer. Select the printer file and press Install. Follow the installation instructions on the screen. For network printer installation, please consult the manual. Troubleshooting. If the sample is too hot, a warning, cool and refill, will show on the instrument. Please cool the sample. Set a TIT value to lower the oven temperature. Then, restart the test. Further information. Please study the manual delivered with the instrument carefully. If you have any additional questions, our local representatives or the Grabner Support Department will be happy to help you. Small instruments, great results. Grabner Instruments.